So I'm sitting here in my backyard. It rained a couple days ago. And as you can see, I have mushrooms all over the place. And I've been watching these ripen over the last couple days. And I have an idea. Not a perfect specimen, but pretty good. So I'm gonna freeze this so these little gills don't smush down too much when I shove it into the clay. And I want to see if I can get that texture in the bowl. All right, I'm gonna go cut it off, put it in the freezer. Okay, so this thing has been sitting in my freezer for a week. Oh, if I'm being honest, a couple weeks. <laughs> and I want to get rid of it. We're gonna fire the kiln tonight. And so I thought, well, I have this bowl. I've used it already once as kind of a catch basin for another firing, so it's fully fired. I dipped it in a glaze, uh, so it's super, super thin, but I don't really care. What I want to do is take this mushroom, and I'm going to take some manganese and some yellow okra, and we're going to just try to whiff it in to the gills. I don't know how it's going to go. It's still frozen, but these gills, you know, they were really stiff, like... A few hours after I froze it the first time, but then I, I checked it like a week later and it's like, eh. Because my hope was I was going to take this and throw a bowl and, you know, like push it into the bowl after I threw it. And could I get that texture, like, a, the, you know, the inside of a mushroom cap? That would be kind of cool. Yeah. So it, to me, it looks like it's kind of falling in the cracks. That's fun. So I hope that's the case because it. I don't know, this whole thing is gonna have to burn away in the kiln, right? In the bottom of this bowl. And I'm sure it's all gonna amalgamate and boil and be just a big hot mess. But wouldn't it be cool if I could take this mushroom and it left a pattern? It seems unlikely, I'm being honest, it seems unlikely. But, you know, if I can fill these gills with different sorts of colorants, Perhaps there'll be some sort of lines or something. I don't know. We'll see. All right, enough of that. I said, did I say yellow okra? Ochre. Ochre, right? Ochre? Hmm. This might have done better through like a little colander or something. It's kind of clumpy. Kind of clumpy. All right, we're going to call this done. Ooh, interesting. It is light and crispy on the bottom. Like it's freezer burned or something. Okay, there you go. I'm not going to touch it. We'll burn this down tonight in this bowl. My prediction is that we have a black spot in the middle. <laughs> That's what I predict. But if we could get some sort of webbing or lines of any kind, that would be amazing. Because I have a lot of mushrooms. Okay, here it is out of the kiln. Well, that is interesting. Does that look like a mushroom to you? Hmm. Kind of looks like a stalk in the middle, but here, let me give you a different view. Yeah. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Ooh, crunchy. Interesting. There you go.